Hello students, myself Dr. Mona Lisa, Anatomy faculty on the Zoom Academy. I would like to introduce myself. So I have done my MBBS from KMCH, MD Anatomy from Armed Force Medical College, Pune. And I have completed my senior residency from Lady Harding Medical College, New Delhi. And right now working as an assistant professor in RMCH. So a total of more than nine years of teaching experience I have and I am the anatomy faculty on the Zoom Academy. Now, the next point which I want to elaborate is the goal of Zoom Academy. What is the motto and the goal of Zoom Academy? So firstly, I want you to tell that Zoom Academy is a UK based company and the motto is to make you all clear the national licensee examination. So for that, all the subject will be taught by the educators and who are the expert of individual subjects. I also want to elaborate that it is not just that we will provide you the recorded version of the session. It is incorporated with the other benefits. So, aisa nahi hoga ki aapko ek recorded version mil jayegi aur uske baad aapke doubts nahi clear honge. So, what is next? The Zoom Academy will provide you with live sessions. So, there will be incorporation of live doubt clearing sessions which will be taken by the expert of each individual subjects. Not only that, what are the other benefits? The other benefits which will be incorporated is you will also have test and discussion MCQ series incorporated and the whole subject will be taught in a conceptual manner so that you can retain the subject for the long duration of time. Also, it is important that as we know the na national licensee examination which you have to clear is having a cutoff which is very high that is 70 percent. So it is important that all the important aspect of each individual subject should be covered up along with the conceptual in-depth understanding of the subject, doubt clearing session and also the whole MCQ should be solved. So the next important point which I want you to tell the motto of or the goal of Zoom Academy and the faculties are that we will deliver the lecture in such a way that it is very easy for you to understand so that you can crack the examination in a very high rank and with clearing more of the MCQs and you will get more than 70% in your entrance examination. Now, as I'm an expert for anatomy subject and I'm the anatomy educator, so what I want you to tell that what are all things which I'm going to cover up. So a general brief of it. So we know that gross anatomy, if I talk about the gross anatomy, so the gross anatomy has different parts so it will be incorporated by covering upper limb, lower limb, head and neck, abdomen, pelvis. So it's not just about the gross anatomy, it will be covered from the basics. So what is important, why anatomy is very important? I just want you to tell if you are having a fundamental and basic knowledge of anatomy, you are going to understand the clinical subject in a very important way and very easily you can understand because if we take any topic of surgery, gynae and ops, ENT, opta, ortho, it starts with anatomy, it's a basic subject. So you want to reach to your goal, so you have to decide the path and the path will be decided with this basic subject. So anatomy is very very important my dear aspirants. Now if I talk about anatomy, we will focus more on the clinical anatomy, why? Because if we see the trend of previous year MCQs and we see the trend of all the entrance examination, the MCQs and the question which is uh, targeted is more of clinical. So clinical anatomy will be covered in each and every topic. And so I will more uh, give you the concise and the tricks how to solve the MCQs and we will cover up all the important topics which is clinically more important in a very comprehensive way. Now, the next topic which I want each and every students to understand is microscopic anatomy or the histological aspect. So why normal histology is very important? So one of the subject of the second year is pathology and for understanding the abnormal histology, my dear aspirants, it is important that you should know the normal histological images. So this will be incorporated with so many diagrams of the real histological image and uh, this will be giving you, this will give you a better understanding of the pathological slides. Not only that, neuroanatomy is waiting for you. So neuroanatomy is just solving, if you solve the clinical MCQs of neuroanatomy, it is just solving like a mathematics. It is 
tracts involved and what will be the sign and symptom. So, neuroanatomy will be covered in a very uh, conceptual manner. Understanding of all important topics will be done with real cadaveric images which is incorporated. So, not only that, if I talk about uh, the other gross anatomy, so after completing the facts, after completing the gross anatomy, it will be incorporated with cadaveric images. So, also the images will be of uh, from the good atlas book, I will incorporate it from uh, histological images from defuros histology and the other like knitters, gray's anatomy and after understanding the uh, the anatomical images from an atlas and we will focus on the cadaveric images and I will let you know how we are going to solve the image based MCQs and how we are targeting a better mark in the entrance examination. Now my dear aspirants before ending it the key to success is to focus on goal and not to the obstacles. So let's do it together all the best. Thank you.